What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Man, 2023 has been crazy. It went so fast, it's hard to remember what happened. It's crazy to think that this channel started December 3rd of 2022. It's barely been a year, and we have come so far. We're over 40,000 subscribers here on YouTube and over 6,000 members of the Discord. It's absolutely crazy. So I thought this would be a great time to do a bit of a 2023 recap. Check out the best and worst of it all. It's crazy to see how far things have gone as far as editing and the video styles go from the first day all the way out until now. So grab some popcorn and get cozy because uh, this is going to get interesting. Let's do it. All right, so let's get right into it. We'll pull up the uh, big screen and watch our first video. This was uh, Gotta Flipper Zero, Become a Hacker Now. So let's take a look at this. Now this intro is actually made by I Am Jacoby. He set me up big time in the beginning of me making YouTube videos. So thanks a lot to him for this. What is going on, you guys? It oh my God. Talking Sasquatch. So the headset and the lo-fi camera. Basically, I had uh, better equipment. I had a microphone and a camera coming out already, but I wanted to get these videos out, so I just kind of used the crappy equipment that I had before. Not sure if that was a great idea or not, but you know, that's what I used. All right, let's go. I'm here today to try to help you learn some cool stuff to do with your Flipper Zero. So what, you just got one of these in the mail? Well. Everybody asks me the same questions. How do I add files to it? How do I make it do more stuff? Really, how do I make it hack ready? So today we're gonna show you how to do it. All right, let's go. First things. And that was the first time I used that explosion. That was awesome. I love that. Man, watching that first video, it's honestly crazy to me that anybody even watched them. But I dropped that first video and I think I got a thousand subs in less than 48 hours. It was nuts. All right, so that's gonna bring us to the second video. I'm not gonna go through every one of my videos, but these first videos are kind of cringy and kind of rough. I went meme crazy. The music was way too loud. It's just nuts. So let's take a look at this clip I picked from my second video. All right, cool. So let's let's just start. This ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi Marauder into here. So now we've basically installed Marauder into, into our firmware. Super so easy. many memes. Gonna go ahead and plug in the Wi-Fi dev board again and bam cool cool go back here and we're going to restart flipper one more time just to make sure everything's happy cool so now music's way too loud things are just gnarly but i mean again it just shows kind of how much better like videos have gotten oh here's another good spot i mean i barely knew how to use premiere when i started making those i mean i kind of did but this is the first time i made like an effect and i was so proud of this and it's so silly and i use it so many times but all right check this one out the esp32 marauder file so we're gonna go ahead and download a little marauder guy. explosion and eh, we'll throw that was folder that works for me <laughs> and we're gonna move it's so to silly the... literally it's just like a firework sound but like again that's all i knew how to do so i thought that was so funny all right, so this next video is when I first got my new camera. I'm still using the same exact camera. I have two Logitech Brios, they're both 4K cameras, but the amount of quality I've actually managed to get out of these has changed dramatically. So this is the first video where I'm recording with the same mic and the same video, the same lights and everything. Just look at the difference. All right, so this is from my third video, first one with the new equipment, let's hit play. What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and we're back again. Today, we're gonna get into one of the more popular things on my TikTok, and that's gonna be checking out my custom builds for the add-on boards. I'm also- I do not understand how I managed to have such poor quality out of literally the same cameras, same microphone I'm using now. I figured out a ton, a ton of stuff. This is supposedly 1080p coming out of this thing. I don't know, doesn't look very good to me, but I'm so glad I was able to make it look better because, I mean, these early videos are hard to watch for me. Now, I do think things get a little bit better as we get through the video. Once we get to the top down camera, let's see out here. Less the same thing. We've got okay, the okay, NRF that's 24. not too bad, but the exposure is really bad. You can see the ghosting on that. So even this, I don't have enough light. And actually what's funny is when I first started making videos, I was using a laptop for all of this. So that's my laptop keyboard that this thing's sitting on top of. I mean, it was so bootleg. It's amazing I was able to get any of this stuff done. 
All right, so this next video is from a little mini series I had called Skid School. It was a super, super simple premise where basically I teach you one really, really specific thing, a very short video, but make it really easy for people to figure out how to do that one thing. Now, what was fun about Skid School is this is actually the first time I used After Effects to make an intro for something. So it's really cool. This was completely new to me. I was so psyched to how this came out. So let's check a look at the first Skid School. All right, so this is installing Python and Git in PowerShell, uh, the very first Skid School. Let's go. It's super simple, super easy. So sit back, relax, Skid School is in session. I know it's simple, but that thing took me a while to figure out. And again, it was the first intro I'd ever made. I was so proud of it. Now, I honestly genuinely like the premise. And at some point, I feel like I will make some more skid schools. But for now, it's kind of been tricky keeping up with all of the big videos every week. All right, so as cringe as that was, uh, let's go on to our next video. This was my first video to really get popular, popular. My first video was my first like tutorial for Flipper video did pretty well. This one's up to a quarter million. This was huge for me. Uh, production values are getting a little bit better, but still not great. Still kind of rough around the edges. Let's take a look at it. All right, again, so this is my second Flipper Zero tutorial, like basics tutorial, but now I've gotten a little bit better and kind of know a little bit about what I'm doing. What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. Welcome to the channel. As many of y'all know already, Linus Tech Tips actually featured Flipper Zero on a video. Obviously, this led to a great deal of new... You can tell I'm getting a little more comfortable with uh, Photoshop, not Photoshop, with Premiere. But again, that was a pretty janky effect. Um, lighting, oh, there's a ton of stuff. It's still just not quite right. But I'm getting a little bit better talking, I think. It's hard to say. I, mean, I loved having the printer printing in the background. I actually had this guy going for a little while when uh, I started it and actually the print finished. One of the problems with the Bamboo X1 is it prints so fast. Um, I need like two or three hours to film and this thing prints huge stuff in like two hours. So having the printer go while I'm filming is a little tricky. All right, let's keep going. Interest. Then Flipper restocked 14,000 units and they all sold out within a couple of days. So what that means is that there's so many people now that are just getting their flippers. I made my first video, which is Flipper Zero, how to be a hacker now, way back in December. So many things have changed since then. I thought it's crazy, though. I got a reputation from like Jump Street about my T-shirts because I try to wear a different T-shirt like every video. I used to subscribe to NerdBlock and I'd get a new t-shirt every week, so I had a ton of shirts. I'm getting new shirts for almost every video. Some ones like this one, I wore it as a throwback. I try to wear cool shirts whenever I can. Okay, so this next clip is honestly one of my favorite things that I've done. I like doing little skits and stuff in the beginnings of videos. I don't know, I find it fun and engaging, but nobody watched this video. I, I swear none of you guys saw this. So I'm gonna show you the intro for this video, which is seven Discord scams exposed. I thought it was a cool video, but didn't really gain much traction, but the intro is one of my favorite things. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna let the intro play all the way through because again, nobody's seen it. And again, I think it's pretty cool. So let's let's check it out. Hey, I'm so sorry to bother you. I wanted to see if this was your Steam account? I made a really bad decision and I mistakenly reported your account for fraud and impersonating another user? I'm so sorry? Uh, oh no, what should I do? Again, I'm so sorry. If you just appeal the report ASAP, they won't permanently ban your account? Just follow the link here. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just log into my Steam account. Hopefully they haven't banned me yet. What the heck? How's it going, you guys? Man, for how much of a meme that turned into, nobody watched the original video that it was on. It was crazy. Like, I even added little Easter eggs into it. Like, uh, where's the URL? Here we go. If you look at the URL, steamloginpage.totallyofficialsite.xyz. 
I mean, I threw that in there just for little things. There's so many Easter eggs in my videos. If you watch closely, like my intros have Easter eggs, they're everywhere. Actually, speaking of Easter eggs, this is one I threw in from, uh, this was my Flipper Zero bad USB video. So I've done this actually a few times, but this is the first time I've done this exact Easter egg. Hey, now it looks like he's pulled my actual coordinates on the uh, the old GPS. Again, these are modified, but yeah, if I hadn't changed those, that would be my actual location currently. So if you look up the coordinates right now, well, I won't ruin the surprise, but I leave it to you to look them up. I love adding Easter eggs to videos. I do them again all the time. So let's take a look at another video. This one is another intro that I made. This is for another mini series I had. It will called Epic Exploits, but I thought this intro came out really good. And again, this is a video that not that many people saw. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is another video with like 2.4K views. I spent a while making the intro, so might as well let somebody see it. So here goes. Although technically, that's so cool. Like, I really love the way that one came out. Oh, actually, speaking of intros, I've got a really good one that I like. that actually matches the current vibe of the intro we're using now, which is from our video game review of Hacknet. So let's take a look at that one. All right, again, this one's from the review I did of Hacknet, and this is the intro I made for that. That game was actually really good. So if anybody's looking for a game, Hacknet, give it a shot. So let's go. Along the way. All right, so that's an... I will say that my camera's a little better. It's still not the best. It needs some work, and it honestly, still needs some work. I'd love to get new equipment, but it's it's getting better here. So, one interrupt. Enough introduction. Let's play some games. All right. So here we are on. That was cool, and I love that song. It kind of shoehorned in there it's hard to make the transition on beat and stuff but i like the song so i kind of put it in oh actually speaking of things that nobody's seen i did a bad apple on my arduino uh this guy the arduino uno and it has a little 8x12 led array again i thought it was a cool project nobody watched it but well i'll show you a little bit of it here just in case you haven't seen it all right so bad apple on the little tiny led screen I even spent this time to get the framing and stuff right. I, I don't know. I thought it was a cool video. It was really hard to get this all kind of working. Um, we had seen somebody else actually doing this before, so we weren't the first, so I'm not going to claim to be the first. But uh, it was a really cool idea, and we didn't take anybody else's work. We did this from Jump Street. Me and Amelia spent a night working on it. But yeah, I thought it was kind of cool, but you know, it's not really my main uh, audience. So it didn't really get that much traction. What was cool is it's got me featured on Arduino IDE's TikTok. So in the end, that was pretty cool. Okay, for the next video, it's another cool intro. This one is what we did for the OMG cable. And uh, I don't know, I thought it was a cool idea, so I made an intro for it. I've actually got a whole box of stuff coming from OMG because MG's a cool ass dude. And we're gonna be looking at some more of their stuff soon. But let's take a look at this new intro, not intro, but this little skit I did for the OMG Elite cable. All right, and this video has actually got the disclaimer on it, and I don't know where I thought to use the, uh, the Jackass intro, but I don't know, it gives me a warm fuzzy every time I hear it, so I kind of love it. Let's uh, check this one out. This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot, my phone's dying. Anybody got a phone charger? Oh yeah, I got you right here. Oh sweet, thanks fake catching perfect yeah. got it and the hacked intro again now this video actually has my best viewer retention for the first 30 seconds partially because it's a tutorial video for something that there's not a lot of tutorial videos on but I don't know because this cute little sketch is in there I like to think that people kept watching because of it so yeah, as we wrap up the 2023 season, I mean, I have to thank each and every one of you guys absolutely from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me this entire time. 
I never thought things would go this fast, and I never thought this channel would blow up this much, honestly. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's all because of you guys. This channel has led to me meeting so many cool people. I'm not gonna list any of them because I'm gonna forget someone and feel really bad about it, but I've met so many cool people, and we have our own little family in itself, and I honestly can't thank you guys enough for all the support throughout this entire journey. So what's your favorite video? What's your least favorite video? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you to each and every one of you, whether you've been here from day one or you just subbed yesterday. The fact that people are here watching my stuff absolutely is the most amazing thing in the world to me. As always, if you want to see anything from me, hit me up on Discord, uh, make a comment down below, whatever. But honestly, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are the best. I love you guys. We'll see you next year. Well, no, there will be a video before the end of the year, but you know what I mean. We'll see you.